Listen to part of a discussion in an environmental science class. The people are talking about an environmental problem. As it is now well established, our planet's protective ozone layer has been thinning in recent decades. The ozone layer lies between 15 and 30 kilometers above the Earth's surface and absorbs ultraviolet rays emitted by the sun. The thinning of the ozone layer occurs when artificial chemicals called chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, and other chlorine compounds combine with the oxygen atoms of the ozone, and this depletes the amount of ozone. Ozone depletion has serious consequences because more ultraviolet light can reach the Earth's surface and damage DNA in humans and animals. The most well-known effect of this is the recent dramatic increase in skin cancers. So, who is actually responsible for creating these CFCs? Well, in a sense, we all are. CFCs are a main component of dry cleaning and refrigerating chemicals. They are also produced in various manufacturing processes, in nitrogen fertilizers, and by aerosols used in products such as hairsprays and polishes. Fortunately, their use in aerosols has been phased out in most countries. These chemicals disperse in the lower atmosphere, where they linger for years before migrating to the stratosphere, where the damage to the ozone takes place. Dr. Alameda, this sounds very pessimistic. Haven't there been international agreements to phase out CFCs? Yes. In fact, since 1985, several international conventions have produced agreements. Would you say you are optimistic about the future of the ozone layer? I would say I'm guardedly optimistic for the long-term future. The various agreements are beginning to take effect. The problem is that it takes many years for the CFCs to disperse, and not all countries are enthusiastic about phasing out their production for economic reasons. However, it is generally expected that the ozone layer will recover completely by the year 2060, as long as we all abide by the international agreements. What is the discussion mainly about? According to the professor, how do CFCs get into the atmosphere? Why does the professor mention hairsprays and polishes? The professor briefly explains a process. Summarize the process by putting the events in order. Why is the professor cautious in her prediction of the future?